Hello again, everybody. I'm David Sullivan. Welcome here to the Denny Crum Show. We'll be talking with Coach Crum about UofL basketball. We've come off a week with a home game victory and a loss on the road. And now, Coach, the stage is almost set for the Conference USA Tournament. How do you feel about things? Then we'll look at the UNC Charlotte game. Well, obviously, uh, uh, we wish we'd have won that last one, but, but we didn't. But, uh, you know, we played a really good Charlotte team uh, that was playing the best of anyone in the league and, and uh, had senior day at our place uh, on Wednesday and uh, came out with a one-point victory there. Could have been eight or nine, but they hit a bunch of threes on us at the end. And, and it set the stage for the final uh, conference game and, and uh, playing at Tulane with their senior night uh, made it really difficult. But, uh, you know, that's all part of it. You've got to take the good with the bad. You mentioned senior night. Let's, as we take a look at highlights first, here's Bozak Smith and his daughter. Alvin Sims, Dewan Wheat, and B.J. Flynn, of course, the other scene. And there's Charlotte. They opened up going right into Johnson. They're, they're all conference player. And um, we actually uh, got off to a pretty good start, I think, because we got Alvin had a couple dunks early in the game, and that kind of, you know, helps get the team rolling. And... Uh, I think any time you uh, had guys seven foot two, that's cool. And he's a force in there, and he's, he's just, he's a, I don't even know what year he's in, but I think he's going to be a, a real good player in time. He's so big and strong that he just can do whatever he wants. And then there's uh, Johnson again. But uh, we played uh, not too bad in this game. I was real pleased. I didn't know if we could beat them with... Uh, with everything that they had going for them and as well as they'd been playing. <coughs> you had said they were the hot team coming into this game in the league. Well, they had won six in a row, and, and they had everybody on their team playing above the level that they were before. And when you have that going for you, I, uh, you're hard to beat, and they were hard to beat. Uh, we played real well, and uh, especially the second half, but uh, we held our own in the first half, and we ended up doing some pretty good things. and. Nice pass from Dewan to BJ, and he took the contact and made the shot. And he's good at that, and I uh, wish we had some other guys that could do that. Uh, they just take the contact, but they don't make the, th uh, the three-point play like he does. But uh, this team uh, was play, like I said, was playing good, and uh, we just kind of played as hard as we could play. I don't know if we played great or not, but we were really focused. And with seniors' night, our seniors all stepped up and. Had a pretty darn good game. I, I, I think you could go back and, uh, you know, look at all the stats, and three of the four got in double figures, and, uh, you know, that in itself is, uh, is a real positive thing. There's Downs, who can literally light it up from the perimeter, and, and he's just one of those good players that has a great range on his three-point shooting. There's Alex, real pleased with his assist. And, uh, but we, we ended up uh, in this game with... Uh, uh, they had nine out of 21 threes. They shot 43% out there, and we only hit five out of 20. But uh, we did a lot of other things real well. We forced them into uh, making uh, a bunch of turnovers, I think 21 or something like that. And, and, uh, and we just, you know, we played well enough to hang in there, and then down the stretch we kind of opened up a lead. We got some fast break baskets on them, and, and uh, I, I felt that if we could just, you know, just stay close coming down the stretch we'd have a you know a legitimate chance and there's a big cool again look at the arms on that guy i mean he's his arms are bigger than my legs I and mean, he's a horse uh and there's a shot at the mid at the end of the buzzer which allowed him to make a three-pointer and that was a step across the 10 second line and i mean that they hit three like that coming down the stretch and uh uh, you know, I guess we could have done a better job guarding them, but we didn't. But I mean, they were way, way out of range, but it didn't seem to matter. They went in anyway. There's our seniors talking to the crowd and telling them uh, basically how much they appreciate their support and that they've enjoyed their years at Louisville, and uh, now they're going to have to move on. But 
not for a few games yet, I hope. All right, we'll be back to talk about the future and look at the Tulane game and more after this. The Cardinal Telecast team is outfitted by Rhodes and invites you to shop Rhodes downtown and Oxmoor Center for the finest in men's and women's apparel. The Denny Crum Show is brought to you by Pepsi Cola General Bottlers, makers of Pepsi, Mountain Dew, and today's all sport, the sport drink of the Louisville Cardinals. By Alternative Health, you need the alternative, Alternative Health. By Golden Flake Snack Foods, it's where you find the flavor. By the Kentucky Lottery, it's your game. By Kroger, always on the cutting edge. And by Keel Brothers and BP Oil, we keep you moving. The cards are on Fox. Pepsi theft. It can happen anywhere, anytime. Fight back. Introducing the Pepsi Club. Now Pepsi moments don't have to become anxious moments. Excuse me. What you were about to see did not actually happen. <laughs> but it could happen. They took everything! Look, Ma, the Pepsi Club works. Not today. Thank you, Pepsi Club. Pepsi. Generation next. Available in six-pack. I've been associated with Golden Flake for over 10 years. And not only do I appreciate their loyalty, but I love the quality and the taste of their delicious chips. What's the distance between you and the richest variety of cheese in the South? If you're lucky, you're sitting right next to it. Golden Flake. It's where you find the flavor. Treatment of strokes, tumors, and other brain disorders, doctors must walk a fine line of urgency and pinpoint accuracy. And almost no one knows their way around the human brain better than the experts of the Norton Brain Institute. Using the latest and most advanced procedures, we can often diagnose and remove even the smallest problems before they get the chance to become big problems. We're part of the Norton Hospital Spine and Neuroscience Center. An opportunity now for Cardinal fans to ask Coach Crum. Hello, Coach Crum. My name is Jerry Blair, and I'd just like to ask you one question. What do you think it's going to take for the team to make it to the Final Four this year? Well, Jerry, I think there's a number of things. One, you either have to have a little good luck or no bad luck. I think you've got to be playing your very, very best. Uh, and even that doesn't guarantee you're going to get to the Final Four because there will be a lot of teams that are playing really well that get beat by somebody who's just playing a little better or maybe that has better talent. There, it's not a magic formula, but you have to obviously be playing your best, and you have to be, uh, your defense has to be just absolutely, you know, you know, really the best, because that's how you get there is with your defense. And, and obviously it helps if you're shooting the ball well, um, but I think uh, defense is the real key, and defense and rebounding, and I think, you know, that's one of the areas where, you know, our defense has been fairly good, but our rebounding has been really inconsistent, so we'll have to do a lot better with that. Coach, my name's Gene Stewart. I'm from uh, Prospect, Kentucky. Uh, I'd like for you to tell us the difference or how the change in the timeouts. Uh, they now have 20-second timeouts and regular timeouts, and I'm not sure how that works. Well, uh, on a television game, which uh, all of ours are, uh, you, there's three 20-second timeouts, uh, and there's two full timeouts that you can call. The three 20-second timeouts, you can take them any time. Uh, you can take one of them in the front, first half uh, you, that you cannot carry over to the second half. So you have, if you don't take the one, one of them in the, one of your 20-second timeouts in the first half, you lose that. But you can save two of your 20 seconds and both your full timeouts uh, plus television timeouts for the second half if you choose. Hi, Coach Crum. Sharon Horn Ashlock from Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, just like to know why you don't use the three-quarter press more uh, since our team is so small. Uh, would it be best in the long run? Well, we've uh, been pressing a lot more lately, and it's basically a three-quarter court press. We don't, if you're going to deny the inbounds pass, uh, it can be anywhere from full to three-quarter. But uh, if you put someone on the ball itself, then, then that would be considered a full court press. So we're basically pressing uh, after free throws. And in the last two or three games, we've been pressing after field goals, uh, made field goals most of the time. And that is a three-quarter court, basically three-quarter court press, press. And we use... 
we're basically using man-to-man -man principles and uh, double teaming whenever we get the opportunity. So that's basically what we're doing right now. I'm Linda Toby from Prospect, Kentucky. Coach Crum, if we're up by three points with just seconds to go in the game, the other team has the ball now, why don't we just foul them so they shoot the one and one? Well, whether they get to shoot one and one or two shots is, is uh, depends on. I'll give you an example. Let's just say that it's uh, a two-shot foul or a one and one. It doesn't really matter. Let's say you, make, you foul them. They make the first one. They miss the second one. They got a chance to tip it in. And then they also, even if they make both of them, they're still down one. They got a chance to set up their press. I, like, and then that gives them a chance to steal the inbounds pass. Uh, or foul you with maybe take one second off the clock when you bring it inbounds and then they get another opportunity at you. So it gives them too many opportunities. Now you, you could do that, but that doesn't uh, guarantee that you'd win. All right, we'll be back with Coach Crump. We'll look at the Tulane game, highlights of that and more after this break. Join thousands of Cardinal fans and subscribe to the Louisville Sports Report, your expert source for Cardinal sports. It's the nation's only weekly magazine devoted exclusively to in-depth coverage of U of L sports. Call now and get 32 issues for only $39.95. The nation's most complete coverage of the cards, the Louisville Sports Report. on someone your own size. The Star Wars trilogy is back on the big screen, and it's even better with a Pepsi. Great effects, man. Yeah. This is no ordinary instant lottery game. This is Super 7s, with a chance to win up to seven times on each $2 ticket. Super 7s pushes a lottery player's stamina, mental toughness, and courage. The road is hard, but the rewards are great. The top prize is $70,000. But can players elude exhaustion's vice-like grip to scratch off three sevens in a row? The answer lies ahead, because somebody's gonna win. Might as well be you. victories or is it the quality of those victories is it in the mind of an individual or in the mind of his peers or is it all these things Kroger salutes a winner coach Denny Crum We continue tonight our look at the UFL seniors. Alvin Sims has enjoyed a stellar four-year career at the University of Louisville. Tonight, Pat Murphy with his profile of the Paris, Kentucky native. As athletic as probably anyone Denny Crum has coached at the University of Louisville, Alvin Sims is the product of a basketball family. His great-grandfather, William Reed, a three-sport star at Kentucky State, coached Sims' great-uncle Marvin Roberts prior to Roberts joining the Harlem Globetrotters. If you fast forward two generations, their Paris, Kentucky descendant included soccer in his high school athletic repertoire. Yeah, it helped my, um, my eye coordination and, you know, it just it helped me see the floor better because on the soccer field, it's like the same aspect as a basketball court. You have to um, see both ends of, and see who's coming from behind and where to make the pass to. Like any other college freshman, Sims went through some changes in that first year. It was up and down. Um, you know, I had a hard time adjusting to the college game. And, and um, I had a lot of work to do. And, you know, in practice, I had a great time because I had Greg Miner and Dwayne Morton push me in. And I, I tried to push them. And it, it was a great competition, and I think that helped me in my game. His freshman learning curve was boosted by NCAA tournament play in 1994 and pickup action against former UofL stars that summer. 
However, the 1995 Metro Conference semifinal game versus Tulane might have signaled Sim stardom. I think from there I stepped up. And, you know, I didn't worry about you know certain situations. Um, I learned that not everyone can um, you know take the big shot or whatever. And sometimes you have to, and you have to step up and do that. And during that time, I, I did that, and it made me feel good. Dunking the basketball is nirvana for Alvin as well. His first competitive slam came in his sophomore year of high school versus Bourbon County. From the beginning, Sims was taught to go aggressively to the basket. Well, I just believe in taking the ball to the whole strong, and that's where my, the people that, you know, helped me play, helped me learn to play. And they said, just take it strong, and the stronger they can take it with a dunk. So that's what I always um, did as I played. And that's, you know, the most thing I, when I go to the hole, that's, that's the one thing I'm thinking about. Cardinal fans view Sims dunking as artistry on the floor. The artist has also dabbled in drawing with pastels during his downtime. It helps you um, think and, you know, it relaxes you and you don't have to worry about, especially with pastels, you can make a mistake, but you don't have to worry about it because you can bring in another color that can dominate the mistake. If the dunk's not there or the shot's not falling, Sims concentrates on rebounding and defense, going after the theft. Really, is you just gotta like know what to play, what to expect from a player. If he's a penetrator or if he's just a straight shooter, like if it's, if it's a penetrator, then I look for the crossover. I always, um, I'm able to grab the grab the dribble when he's about to cross over or whatever. And if he's a shooter, I'm on. I try to get up on him and try to get him to lift the ball up, and I try to knock the ball out of his hand if he's trying to pass it or whatever. Sports will always be in Alvin's future, whether it's the NBA or sports media relations, a field he's interested in. Either way, the UofL experience for Sims has been a positive one. The UofL campus helped me mature a whole lot. Um, it's a lot of things I learned. And, you know, I really appreciate the professors and um, the time they took with me as a basketball player, as a student athlete, and as um, far as basketball-wise. Um, it was a great, great opportunity to play here, and, and I really appreciate being able to have the, the um, fan support. Well, he's quite an athlete, Coach. He's brought a lot of talent to the table for you. Yeah, he has, and he's learned to be uh, a guard. You know, he played inside all through high school, and he n didn't ever shoot the ball from the perimeter, and he's shooting it pretty well. I'm almost 40% out there right now, so he's come a long ways. He's got great work ethic, and... He could have a good future ahead of him. All right, we'll be back with Coach Cub in a minute. We'll talk about that Tulane game after this break. Pepsi theft. It can happen anywhere, anytime. Fight back. Introducing the Pepsi Club. Now Pepsi moments don't have to become anxious moments. Excuse me. What you were about to see did not actually happen, <laughs> but it could happen. Ma, the Pepsi Club works. Not today. Thank you, Pepsi Club. Pepsi, Generation Next. Available in six-pack. There can be only one, one place to find the 1997 Ford Windstar. Rated highest in class with a five-star safety rating. Now, with $1,000 cash back, you can lease a Windstar for just $2.39 a month. That's $2.39 a month. Buy Windstar and choose $1,000 cash back or low 2.9% financing. The Ford Windstar, a best pick from the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. And the number one place to find this best seller is at your local Ford dealer. Cardinal Standing Tall, brought to you by PNC Bank and Fox 41. Here at the University of Louisville, we're proud of the performance our student-athletes deliver in competition. But we're also proud of some Cardinal accomplishments many fans never get to see in the classroom and in the community. It's all part of Cardinal Standing Tall. This outreach program challenges our student-athletes to use their position as role models, to give something back to a community that offers them unqualified support. The University of Louisville women's sports teams are making a difference in this community. The efforts of many student athletes have resulted in significant gains for local organizations, such as Girl Scouts and Maryhurst, that benefit girls in their formative years. The Lady Cardinal basketball team is just one of the many groups of student athletes taking an active part in the future of our youth. 
thank you, Cardinals, for standing tall on the court, in the classroom, and in our community. Cardinals Standing Tall, brought to you by PNC Bank and Fox 41. Danny, we pick it up here at Tulane on Saturday. Yeah, a nice pass from Alex into Damian, and this was early in the game, but uh, we, uh, we've had to face a team that was extremely talented, four seniors and a junior in their starting lineup. Uh, their junior, uh, Nelson, number 12, their 52 there, ended up with, uh, oh, I think it was his all-time scoring 17 points against us. Uh, there's Damien. He was our only front-line player that got into double figures. They actually dominated our front line. That's uh, Rashad Allen into Honeycutt. Uh, Nelson into Honeycutt. There's Nelson again, their big center, 6'10". They're 6'10", 6'9", 6'8", in the front line, and, and then they can hit the threes, too. They got uh, a lot of talent, and they were really fired up. It was their senior night, like we had against Charlotte on Wednesday. And uh, we held our own with them for quite a while. Uh, but then we had, uh, ended up with a rash of turnovers uh, where we just literally didn't uh, uh, take care of the ball and ended up uh, with DeWan getting four fouls. Uh, but he, he really did dominate us, uh, their whole team. They outscored our front line 64 to 24. They're starting forward, center, and two forwards and centers. by outscored us by 40 points. And that's with Damien getting 15. Now, normally he doesn't score that much, so... Uh, you know, you give him credit for doing that, and then you give them credit for that. I mean, they penetrated, dished it off, uh, they hit the threes, and then we do things like that. Of course, Eric got that one back, and Alex, I think, hit his head and hurt himself there uh, a little bit. Uh, he ended up coming back and playing. We ended up, uh, Bo sprained his ankle in practice the day before, which I don't, nobody knew probably, but he really couldn't run or jump very well, so I put Troy in there. and. He ended up getting seven points, but we had too many of those. Uh, we ended up with 25 turnovers. They had, uh, they just, you know, just anticipated everything we were going to do. They just took it away from us, and and, and they really did play uh, a, a very inspired, uh, very emotional game. And and they were at home, and they they did a lot of things really well. Uh, and they're very physical, and very talented, and very experienced. Those four guys. Uh, Cameron, Childs, uh, Honeycutt, and Allen have played together for four years. Uh, and Nelson, with, with three of those years, he's played with them. So, and there's Honeycutt. He's a 6'9", but he can take you outside and shoot the threes. Uh, there he is on a steal. And you had a situation where DeWan had four fouls. And had yeah, that happened to us in the second half with a lot of time to go. And uh, he hadn't been shooting it that well anyway. And, and But uh, he... he uh, Picked up his fourth foul, and we ended up, uh, you know, playing without him for quite a while. And I, you know, he he didn't have a great game. I mean, he was, uh, you know, in one of those games where, where I think if you, you go back and, and you look at and analyze everything that happened, I think he was, uh, you know, not at the top of his game, obviously. Uh, there's no way that you can you know, predict everything that's going to happen, but, uh, he, you know, he didn't play up anywhere near up to par. Alvin didn't, BJ didn't. We didn't have one of our seniors uh, step up and play like you have to have him play on the road to win. Okay, you all might have noticed that uh, Coach Crum uh, was wearing a tie at yesterday's game, and that tie was, as it turns out, a very special tie. It's through the efforts of the American Cancer Society and the Coaches Versus Cancer Program. You can purchase that tie for several, or several others at your local Bacon's. Proceeds will benefit Coaches Versus Cancer. What makes this Dodge Caravan such a value is our family value package. For no extra charge, you get seven passenger seating, security drawer, air conditioning, and more. Plus, you also get seats that roll, cup holders, and storage spaces, even a great stereo. All for just $17,815. But what makes this family value package so valuable is where you'll find it. In America's best-selling minivan, Dodge Caravan. See the friendly Dodge dealer near you. This is a Cardinal Flashback, brought to you by H.H. Gregg, Appliances, Electronics, and Computers. 
It was the 79-80 season. Daryl Griffith and his teammates were on a mission to win the national championship. Denny Grummet faced his alma mater, UCLA, twice in the Final Four, and the third time would be the charm. The Doctors of Dunk won 59-54 for Louisville's first NCAA title. This has been a Cardinal Flashback, brought to you by H.H. Gregg, Appliances, Electronics, and Computers. Star Ford has just made a special purchase direct from Ford Motor Company. 5096 Taurus is all priced at 13588. 2596 Contours all priced at 11488. 1096 Lincoln Town Cars all priced at 24488. No negotiations necessary. So hurry in now for your best selection. These vehicles are sold with a 48-hour exchange policy and are under full factory warranty from Star Ford at Oxmoor, the Ford Discount Outlet. The Denny Crumb Show is brought to you by Pepsi-Cola General Bottlers, makers of Pepsi, Mountain Dew, and today's all sport, the sport drink of the Louisville Cardinals. By Alternative Health, you need the alternative, Alternative Health. By Golden Flake Snack Foods, it's where you find the flavor. By the Kentucky Lottery, it's your game. By Kroger, always on the cutting edge. And by Keel Brothers and BP Oil, we keep you moving. The cards are on Fox. Today, first of all, birthday wishes to Denny Crum. He uh, has a birthday celebrating today on March 2nd. Uh, happy birthday. Thank you, David. At uh, this time of year, I don't really have time to celebrate, but it's, uh, it's nice to know that uh, I got through another year, at least to this point. Uh, that's, it's my 60th birthday. Well, your friends here at WDRB went together and got this uh, cake for you here to make that celebration a little bit brighter. Well, thank you very much. I look forward to sharing it with you. Let's look ahead. Conference USA Tournament today. There were a couple of big games as Marquette and UNC Charlotte finish up with wins. Now you know where you're going to be seated, the team you'll play, and what day and so forth in St. Louis. Well, we'll play on Wednesday uh, against South Florida, and it'll be afternoon. It'll either be at noon or the game after that, probably. Uh, um, that's a pretty good guess anyway and uh, we will play South Florida and we got I guess the number six seed uh, and I mean that doesn't sound real good but you know it's it's like anything else uh, an overtime loss to Marquette you know uh, the game uh, where we got the bad call at the end of the uh, St. Louis game and uh, instead of winning that one we lost that that's a two games right there that we could have gone the other way that we just didn't win and and uh, so instead of getting uh, a two or three seed, we're, you know, we're down there at six. But uh, uh, maybe the good side of that is, is we'll get uh, first game jitters out of our system uh, against a team that's also going to have first game jitters. That's South Florida. And uh, it's a new season for, for all the teams, uh, whether you're seeded one or not. And uh, I guess uh, from my perspective, uh, I'm kind of glad we're playing. We need to play. Uh, so I guess... Uh, Let's go play South Florida. All right. Happy birthday. Congratulations. Good luck in the conference tournament. Thank you, David. We'll be back next week with Coach Denny Crum right here. Stay with us. Goodbye. To watch. You've got a big crowd to feed, and you've only got one bag of chips. Chips. Which is why Super America helps out in more ways than you can imagine. With row after row of munchies, sandwiches to satisfy the hungriest crowd, and high performance gasoline like Super America's 93 octane with injector guard plus. Super America. When it comes to making you look super, we never stop. How good is your health insurance? You need the alternative. Alternative health. How good is your health insurance? You need the alternative. Alternative health. I feel so stupid, so silly, so foxy. Holly premieres Monday at 9.30, 8.30 Central.